Man, <laughs> I got this, uh, <laughs> sorry y'all, I know, uh, I'm seeing rainbows. I got this, uh, LED circle light thing <laughs> to brighten up the videos. I don't think it's doing a very good job. Y'all let me know what you think down in the doobly-doo. Hello everybody, E here. Welcome back to another book review. Today we're talking about The Ditch by Herman Koch. Am I? I'm close, aren't I? Yeah, I'm, try, I'm trying to work out this new light situation. Um, I'm probably going to have to take send this one back and get something else. I don't know. Let me, Y'all let me know, um, and I'll check it out in the editing. Maybe it, maybe it looks better, but um, someone was complaining about the shadows. You know, they couldn't see my eyes. Um, I literally had this thing directed <laughs> right at my face, and it's still, yeah, uh, there's still shadows. I'm sorry. I don't know. I guess I'm just dark and no <laughs> I was about to say dark and sinister but that ain't that ain't none of me anywho so uh today we're talking about the ditch Herman Koch is one of the cock cock whatever is one of my favorite authors he's a Dutch author um his translations are superb uh I'm not sure who did this one let me check real quick I believe it's the same guy that does all of his uh Sam Garrett uh, I have the rest of them over there. I'm not going to get them out, but I'm pretty sure Sam Garrett did the rest of them. Um, if I'm wrong, whatever, let me know down there in the doobly-doo. But, uh, in fact, a little, little side story. For the longest time, I thought the guy was either Norwegian or Swedish or something like that. But he wasn't, of course. He's Dutch. Um, and I remember the review, very, the, the, the person came on and said, I don't mean to offend you, but he's actually Dutch. I'm like, Offend me? Why would I be offended? <laughs> I mean, he, if he's Dutch, he's Dutch. The truth is the truth. But anyways, we're talking about uh, The Ditch, uh, his latest novel. Um, I did not like this up until the last couple pages. Um, if you guys remember my review for Perfume um, by Patrick Zus Zuskin, Zuskin, I don't know. Um, you, know you, always, you guys know if you're a fan of the channel, I always screw up the... Uh, <laughs> the names of authors, but uh, names of anybody, really. Um, but with this one, it, this one was far more boring and uneventful and meandering than any of other Koch's um, works that I've read so far. Also, I just found out today there's five other novels that he hasn't had translated yet, and I'm feeling kind of angry and like I need to go learn Dutch so I can get those books. Um... If there's any Dutch fans or anybody out there who's read the other five books, let me know if they're any good. No, not Dutch fans. If there are any Koch fans who have read the other five books that are only in Dutch, please let me know what you think of them. Um, I don't know what I'll be able to do with that information. <laughs> but let me know if they're, if they're worthwhile um, or if he just started to become, I guess, good enough to be translated is where I'm going with that uh, now with all that being said the books fantastic if you can make it to the end and you understand the ending um, I went and I looked at some of the reviews uh, especially the low star reviews because I was wondering why it only had a three star average on Goodreads and most of the people there said that I, I'm not putting words in their mouth they said themselves they didn't understand the ending um, so I'm going to leave that there with them. I'm not going to comment trying to explain to me because the last thing I need, oh my God, you're man explaining to me. I, you know, they didn't ask for my opinion, so I'm not going to give it. But, uh, the, the, <laughs> the, most of the lower starred ratings over there have to do with people not understanding what happened. And I'm kind of shocked because I saw what was happening early on. We're going to get to the spoiler discussion in just a second. Um, and then we'll talk about it there. I saw what was happening, and I'm not sure how you could miss it. Um, but we're going to go into that. We're going to discuss it because it's one of the reasons why the book is so lowly rated. Rated lowly? Whatever. Um, anyways, so I did enjoy the book. I ended up giving it four stars. I think I've given uh, most of his books four stars. But this is now one of my favorites, other than Dear Mr. M, which is my favorite. Uh, the Dinner is probably my least favorite from him. The, the reasoning for that is he doesn't hold the reader's hand. Um, he, he doesn't... There's a lot of information that he sprinkles throughout the book that I honestly believe he's, he's trying to bore you. Um, he's trying to get you to take your, your mind and your thoughts off of what is actually going on with the plot. Which, the size of the testicles on this dude must be immense because 
to do something like that with a 300, 306, 308 page book, um, and to only get to the plot about page 175 is insane to me. Um, in fact, the opening section that actually no, that I'm gonna I'm, I don't know if I'll even mention that in the uh, in the spoiler uh, in the spoiler section because it literally I think ruins the book for people. So um, I won't even mention what I what I wanted to say about the front of the book. Um, the 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 tone here is very blasé. Um, there's some terrible shit going on in the background, and the narrator is neurotic. He's paranoid. All this great stuff, but it's also really boring because he's a mayor. He lives a pretty boring life. He talks about windmills all the time, um, not all the time, but he talks about you know his uh, more centrist, conservative politics while he's you know in a liberal country. So that was interesting to read that uh, that point of view from that character. I don't know that it's Koch's point of view, of course. I didn't feel like it was author intrusion. I felt like it was more. Um, along the lines of the character's thoughts, but uh, I could be wrong about that. Herman Koch may be conservative, I have no idea. Um, but the, uh, the, the section about the windmills I found very interesting because that's when I started to realize that there's something going on that he's not telling us. Um, there's something that I believe fully that he is taking his... Uh, he, he's, he's taking our minds off something else and giving him this, this huge fucking red herring. Um, another thing is, I probably just need to go into the spoiler section because from here on out, all I really have to talk about are the spoilers because I almost went into a spoiler again. That's the problem with this book. And my ring light just died. <laughs> so maybe it wasn't that good of a product. Anyways, y'all stay away from Z-E... Here. Here. Y'all stay away from this company. Zek Pro. <laughs> Z-E-K Pro. My, uh, Shell, my wife, uh, is on Snapchat a lot, and she gets a lot of project, products for review. This one ain't getting a good, re yeah, it won't even come on anymore. It, it dead, y'all. Rip, rip Zek Pro light in the chat. <laughs> uh, anyways, okay, so now we're gonna go into, uh, the, the outro, and then if you guys know how I do, if you're a fan of the channel, um, after the outro, there's gonna be spoiler stuff. So until next time, I have been E, you have been you. This has been another book review. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye! Okay, so, um, what happened at the end was the, the, whole, the whole book is something to take your attention off of the fact that uh, the, the entire theme of the book is the title, The Ditch. It's about people ditching people. At least that's what I took from it. Um, if the ditch, if the, the uh, Dutch translation for the ditch doesn't have the same two meanings as the English version of ditch, then, you know, we, we, need, we need to discuss that down there because it seemed like there were a lot of people ditching a lot of people in this book. Um, so that felt like the theme of the book to me because his wife ditches him, um, his father ditches him, um, his father ditches his mother, which is a huge section of the book. Um, so the... I, I feel like it was I feel like it was a central theme. The the ditching of a person, the leaving behind of a person, not just the last chapter where, you know, he's talking about, you know, looking down in the ditch and finding hit finding I think it who was it? His uh his wife's parents in the ditch. I can't in, but I can't remember that part. Or maybe it was just some no, I think it was a famous couple in that town. But what I thought was brilliant is throughout the entire story, he's taking your mind off of the fact that, well, he, he's mentioned that this dude's parents are going to kill themselves. And he's mentioned throughout the entire thing that this is going to happen. You know, that, that you know it's, it's coming to pass. There's nothing he can do about it. Um, because in uh, Holland, uh, it, it's uh, legal to, suicide is legal. Um, the ending, well, of course, you know what suicide is, the ending of one's life, but, um, the euthanasia is a, it, that's legal if you're terminating ill, that kind of thing. You can choose to die. I'm not sure if you can just choose to die, but, I mean, if you do it properly, uh, if you do it improperly, I don't think there's any penalty for trying to commit suicide. Um, especially since his father doesn't. Well, his father survives, uh, the suicide, the parents are... Wanting to kill, was the father talks about wanting to kill themselves together as a, you know, kind of be, so they don't have to grow old and suffer, um, which we'll get to that in a second. Um, but the, only the wife dies and the husband, the, the father of the main character who's 90 something, 
Uh, he survives, and he ends up buying a new sports car and running off with some chick with a red handkerchief, and all, all different kinds of stuff uh, goes on. But I, it was right at the point when I realized that um, that the main character had, I think his name is Robert, had never talked to his mother about this suicide pact that she had, with, supposedly had with their father, that I thought, what if the, and that's before they even died, I was like, what if the father's just, like, saying this so he can murder the wife? Um, and then after the wife is dead, the, the main character starts bringing up the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, um, how he, he, had, he must have ordered the car beforehand, because it was a, like a, I don't know if it was a limited edition sports car, but it was the kind of car that you have to order ahead of time, kind of like a Ferrari kind of deal. Um, so there was that, you know, there's all dropping all these little clues, but I also, before that even happened, I'm like, why haven't you talked to your mother about this? Um, so I caught that twist. Now, the twist with the, with the wife and the, uh, and the, her, the, the man that she was having an affair with, um, I'm, I'm almost positive that it was because she was, she, something had happened between them off camera, and because the book is written in first person, that we are never told why she did this. Um, so I'm, I'm not entirely sure there what the motivation was. But, I mean, that's what happened at the end, was the wife and her, the wife and her brother either attempted to murder um, her lover, or it's, it's something, well, not, or they, uh, they, they beat him up really bad. You know, it's, it's one or the other there. Um, and, of course, he, he doesn't talk about it. He has a selective amnesia kind of deal. Uh, but, I, so that was pretty obvious. Now, as far as the motivations, I'm not 100% sure on the motivations. Uh, but, once again, the book is written in first person. The only thing that we're going to, the only thing we're going to get in first person is the unreliable narrator's point of view. Um, or the narrator's point of view, if it's not unreliable. But um, that's that's my take on it. Um, some of that stuff is accurate, um, and some of that stuff is my speculation. Like the theme being the ditch. You know, she ditched him, dad ditched mom, all this ditching going on. Um, I would love to know if uh, the, the, the connotation, I have no idea how to even look that up. In, in Dutch, if the word for ditch li literally means, you know, hole in the ground and mean to leave someone behind. Um, so I'm not sure there, but, uh, definitely what happened is, you know, the wife and the brother end up fucking up the one dude, and then his, the main character's father murdered his mother to go away. Now, the irony, well, the, the best part, the best part for me of the whole book that really sealed the deal, and I was like, holy shit, four stars, I might have even given it five had I not been so bored with the front matter, was um, the the realization that there at the end, the father ended up having Alzheimer's. So he would made it this story to kill himself and his wife only for, uh, uh, well, the, the story was they didn't want to get old and suffer old age. And then he ends up getting Alzheimer's before, before he dies. And that, I thought, was just a fantastic, you know, come up it's just the kind of thing that gone girl that the ending of gone girl didn't give me that kind of recompense but uh what did you think about herman koch's uh the ditch i i i'm almost worried to ask <laughs> because there's so much hate around this book um also i probably should have put this in the front section but it's, it's whatever but uh, yeah if you guys have read it uh, I hope so if you're here at the end of the the video um, or maybe you didn't even have any want to read the book at all and just want to watch the whole video who knows but if you're here and you've read it let's talk about it down there in the doobly-doo but until next time I'll talk to you guys later